Tonight I'm going to be introducing you to my sister Laura. Laura Doherty is the head chef in Donegal Town in Abbott. I'd like to say a big hello to everyone from our kitchen to yours and also John. Um, John you're doing absolutely amazing work. I would have worked with John in the Waterfront Hotel and we had a great laugh together. John keep up the great work. So tonight Laura's going to be showing one of her favourite dishes and we hope you enjoy it. Firstly, I just want to thank Kim and Early for um, linking me with John. Um, I've been actually following John's page on Facebook, um, Zero Waste Hero Taste. Um, and John has kindly asked me what I do a dish, so um, they used to be follow at home. So I've decided to go for the one pan pizza. So it's making a pizza from scratch, but without the yeast and without having to buy a pre-bought dough. Um, but I see John has actually done a wrap, which is also a good alternative for like quick and easy pizza. Um, another alternative would be like naan bread, if you want to put like your sauce and your vegetables on it. So I've decided, because there's a lot of people that couldn't actually get yeast in shops, I've decided to show you how to make just a simple pizza base, which is self-raising flour, salt and water. And I'll show you exactly what, how to make it. So first of all, we're going to go to top ones. I'm going to make a vegetarian pizza. Um, I'm going to use Donegal rapeseed oil, which is, which is a great um, oil and it's local too, so you support local. So you just want to start off by, firstly you want to start off by having your oven at 180 degrees, um, preheated. And then after that you just want to have your pan nice and hot and you can have it at a medium. I had this kind of pre pre-done. So it's just at a medium heat and you want to start with your oil, you want to just glaze your saucepan with a bit of oil, let that heat up. So while that's heating, I'll just talk you through what I put it. So I just got used everything in my fridge. So I had some peppers, um, that's just one pepper, one green, one red, and a couple of mushrooms. And I finally sliced two red onions. Um, but you can use like you can use any ingredients in your fridge. I just, that's just what I had in my fridge, so that's what I went with. So this is nice and hot now. So you want to start off by putting it all in. I'm just gonna let this sizzle away. So this will take a few minutes just to kind of saute off. I also had some leftover spinach in my fridge so I thought you know I could use this in my pizza I'll add it to my pan or you will so that's gonna sizzle away while that's sizzling I'm gonna show you how to make um, a pizza dough a very quick and easy pizza dough without yeast because the yeast is very hard to get these days just like flour but thankfully I was able to get flour so this is just 250 grams of self raising flour um, I'm gonna add a pinch of salt I just use some sea salt mix and there's a roughly about a hundred grams or hundred ml of water in this so if you want to pour it into your dough or into your flour um, just kind of mix them yeah just want to combine this so I'm gonna put it to get more water just want to combine the first Get some more water. That'll be roughly about 50 ml. So you can just slowly pour it in and take your time with this. If you want to combine this just until it starts to pull together. Yeah. So this is coming together nicely. You can add a wee tiny bit more water. This is all nice and as you can see it's coming together nicely. Okay. So that's kind of slow to come together. This is going to come to you. So I'll 
saute this off. So while you're waiting on this here, I'm just gonna get, sorry, more flour. So, you just wanna get your fingertips and kind of slightly cover them. Put them together. So you can just get that more flour. You can add a wee bit more flour to it. Just so it's kind of kneaded it out. Just better. Just until it's just bring the flour together. So then we we'll need your flour. And you can at this point you could roll it into roll it onto a board. You kind of get a bit more of a knees, but I just want to kind of keep it kind of all in one place. So you just want to be a bit out lift or lift you know? So it's nice and light too. Just there. So you just want to kind of spring up, which it is there. So you just kind of spring it up. And that's your dough, ready to go. Let's go wash your hands. Let's just have to away. So yeah, so when this is just this is just sorting off now. At this point, like if you had extra spinach left over, you can just add it directly into it. This will wilt down. Because I'm making a vegetarian pizza, um, I just love adding as many vegetables as I can. Um, I'm not quite fussy. I just whatever I have, I'll just bake or put it into my pan. So at the moment, I just have red onion, mushroom, peppers, and spinach with a bit of oil. And this is just going to sort it off. So you could add some black pepper. Dark pepper. And a few bit more sea salt. Just for flavour. And that's outside. And that's just at a medium heat. Your oven is preheated at 180 degrees. Just coming together nicely because I'm doing. I've decided to do a red onion and um, vegetarian pizza with ghost cheese and whatever kind of cheese I have. I'm gonna add a small bit of brown sugar just for sweetness for the red onions. Um, no, everyone, if you want to keep it as more low calorie, you can. So just even like a teaspoon, but even another, another one. That's just going to give the sweetness of the onions. And that's just cooking away nicely, which is lovely. Really nice. So you just kind of like saute that off. So this is a super simple pizza with very little cleaning up to do. I just had extra plates because of um, demonstration purposes. But you could all you could have this all on just one board and it is little little fuss. So that's nice and this will continue cooking once the pizza is finished. So from this point I am just going to add it to the plate that was already on so we don't have much cleanup. So along with the zero waste we just also want zero cleanup. <laughs> so put your pan back on the heat. You can add a wee bit more oil, and at this point, I'm going to add my dough, which is nice and springy. So, you want to just put it on, and if it's a wee bit sticky, just add a wee bit more flour, just to kind of work it out. So, you just want to get just want to bring it around the edges. So this is um, a thick pizza base. 
you can make it as thin as possible, just add, do a little less flour and less water. Just use the remaining flour dust. So, you just leave this now for about three to four minutes. Um, you want to get a crust in the bottom of this pizza. So that's it now, kind of ready for pizza shape, you know. So this is a medium heat. Let's wash it. So this is just at a medium heat. You keep this on for about three minutes until it starts to get crust. So it's going to take another few minutes. So that's the size away. So what I like to do, I have. I have a homemade pesto. Um, you can use a shop pot if you have in the fridge. I just happen to have a homemade pesto, which is just basil and par parmesan cheese and some pine nuts. Um, and a wee bit of olive oil, but any pesto is fine. I also have um, concentrated tomato. So I, if you have this in your fridge also, you can, <laughs> you can also use this here. So with, like whatever you wanted. If you also had like a salsa or like a tomato, Passati or any kind of tomato homemade pizza sauce you can use directly on this. So it's just whatever you have you have in your fridge. So I'm just gonna go with a wee Yeah, straight on. So I'm just gonna go straight on. It doesn't have to be too fussy. Um Okay. Um so you could even do a wee bit less now, it just depends well, how much sauce you like on it. And you want to make this as easy as possible when you're cooking for a few people. So as you can see there's a bit of crust starting to come. Just mind your fingers when you're doing this. So I love pesto, so I'm going to add a wee bit of pesto to mine. You don't have to add pesto, it's just whatever preference you have. So just straight on. Yeah, I just love mine, saucy. And then just vegetables. You don't have to use all the vegetables, but if you want, you can load them up. I might just go with that because I can use this tomorrow. Maybe will I? Yeah, I can use this tomorrow, I know. So that's your vegetables on. And that's just at a low heat or a medium heat. And you see there, there's a crust starting to. Kind of hard to see with the sliding. Yeah. But you can see there's a bit of a crust starting. It's crust starting. So from that point on, you just let that cook away. And I'm going to add whatever cheese I have. I just happen to have mozzarella, goat cheese, and um, red jelly. So you can cut these. Save yourself grating it. Put it in the cubes. You can grate it either way, it's no problem. And I'll just crumble some goat cheese to it. So, yeah, some mozzarella. And if you don't have mozzarella, do not worry. Whatever cheese you have, and some cube. And some, I like, I just love ghost cheese, so I'm a big ghost cheese fan. But it's, whatever you have, you can make this as plain or whatever ingredients you want to use. Yeah, so I can add maybe a bit more cheese. And if you want to do less cheese or more cheese, whatever your preference is. So from this point now, this is looking nice and crusty at the bottom. You're going to bake this for 10 to 13 minutes in the oven. Um, you want to make sure you have a good pan that is heat resistant. And um, this is quite a good pan I have, so mine can go straight into the oven. So this is going in for about 10, 13 minutes and then you can just eat it directly. I like to have mine with a wee bit of balsamic vinegar on top with a glaze and it is ready to go. So thank you guys for watching this video and best of luck John and all the other videos. Check John out on Facebook and also if you'd like to see any other recipes that I might do it is on uh, Laura Doherty 93 on Instagram. Um, but thank you.
you guys and hope I inspired you a wee bit and keep, keep up the good work, John. <laughs>